What's up, JB Navy? It's your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is strippers' top 10 mistakes. And um, before we get into this video, I just want to talk about something real quick, right? This stripper series, stripper video, stripper vlogging thing is all me. Like, when I started talking about this, I just up and randomly made a video about this one day and it went crazy and I am I'm where I am now. But now when I get online, I'm seeing all this stripper stuff. Like, and I'm not one of them people. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I feel some type of way because I feel like people should do what they are called to do or what they should do. All I'm saying is copy the right cat. Like, people need to find their own lane and find stuff to talk about. Actually, I ain't gonna say no names. I'm not gonna say nothing, but there's actually a girl on here that used to work with me at a club that is trying to follow and do the same thing that I'm doing. That stuff is so irritating and aggravating. One, is irritating and aggravating when a person doesn't kind of like reach out to you and not saying that somebody got to check in with you, but like, come on, sis. Like, you really going to try and like do the same exact thing that I'm doing? Like, but at the end of the day, I'm not worried. I'm not phased because the original is always the original. Nobody can never make the next move until I make my next move. So all I'm saying is copy the right cat. Stay in your own lane, do your own thing, and if you are gonna do what I'm doing, make sure you do me better than I'm doing me. But anyway, today's video is strippers top 10 mistakes. So let's start with mistake number one, getting wrapped up in a guy from the club. Okay, let me tell y'all something. These niggas ain't shit, okay? They already was shit, and they definitely ain't shit in the club, okay? So a lot of times I see a girl get with a guy from the club, and um, the guy usually comes in and he's only spending money on her. They finally go wild. They start getting um, sexually active with each other. They start dating. And then the girl just goes crazy over the guy. She starts missing work. She starts slipping on her hustle. He talks her out of working. He talks her out of her money. He talks her into crazy stuff. Let me tell y'all something. These guys from the club ain't shit, okay? They ain't nothing. A lot of these guys come in there preying on girls trying to find naive and insecure girls so they can take advantage of, pimp them, um, take money from you, all types of stuff, okay? A lot of these guys from the clubs are scumbags, okay? Do not slip on your hustle messing with a guy from the club. Do not take a guy from the club too serious, especially a regular in the club. Now, people who just generally go to the club and this is a part of their entertainment, weekly entertainment, weekend entertainment, whatever, that's what they do, I can't judge them. Like, we don't judge people from going to the grocery store, so you can't judge somebody from going to the strip club, who cares? But somebody who's regularly in the strip club, that, that's not good. Like, ain't no telling how many girls he done sold dreams to. Ain't no telling how many girls he done used, abused, or whatever. And really, it's kind of hard to find out who's who in the club because you can ask the girls about a guy who's a regular in the club, and they can lie to you because they don't want you to date him or they don't want you to talk to him or they may want may want him themselves. So it's something you really gonna have to fill out and really have to see, um, probably try to figure this person out and try to see who they really are before you get crazy with a guy from the club. My best advice is still don't take a guy who is a regular in the strip club too serious. Mistake number two, forgetting who you were before you started dancing or what your goals were or the things that you wanted to do and the things that you wanted to be, okay? There's a lot of girls that come into this industry and they talking about how they just here to pay for school. Three years later, she stopped paying for school, she stopped going to school and now she's a full-time dancer and she's popping pills and going crazy, okay? Don't let that be you, all right? Stick to your goals, stick to your dreams, keep investing, keep saving, and um, keep spending to a minimum. Always remember that everything comes to an end. Mistake number three, making friends in the club or being extremely friendly. Let me tell you something, this environment is a war zone, okay? When you're in the dressing room, everybody's friendly, everybody's nice, but when you hit that dance floor, it is a war zone, nothing is off limits, and everything is a go, okay? So it's hard to tell who's your friend and who's not your friend. There's been plenty of times a girl complimented my shirt in the back, Next thing I know, we on the floor arguing over money, okay? So nobody is your true friend in the strip club. And be careful about bringing your friends and your family into the strip club and y'all dancing together because this environment can tear y'all apart. Y'all, I trust me, I done seen these girls come in and fall out over a guy. I done seen these girls come in there and fall out over who money belong to who. I done seen these girls come in there and fall out over jealousy because, you know, now you and your friend is in a competitive environment and you start to compete against each other and it can create a whole bunch of problems. So 
you know, getting too friendly in the club and bringing friends into the club is not always a good idea. Do not tell these girls your personal business because they cannot wait to talk about you or use the issue. Misery, honestly, do love company. So a lot of these girls would love to hear the downfalls of your life and the things that you're going through. So don't let too many people in your personal life. Don't make friends too quickly. Kind of just peep everything out before you become too friendly with girls in the club um, because you do not want to take these problems home with you. Next thing you know, one of your stripper friends is trying to move in with you because she's about to get evicted or she needs you to pick her up some, from somewhere at four o'clock in the morning and all that crazy stuff. You don't need that in your life. You are there to work and go home. So do not get too friendly in the club because these girls are not your friends. Which also leads me to mistake number five, confining in girls in the strip club. If you need someone to talk to, go talk to your management. And you know what? Let me pause right there. Let me stop. Sometimes they're not the best people to talk to either because they can be messy as well. If you need somebody to talk to, do it somewhere else other than work. These girls love the drama, okay? And I would hate for you to share your deepest and darkest secrets with someone because you thought they were your friend and next thing you know, it's all over the club. You already have to deal with whatever you're going through. Do you have to go to work and deal with it too because you can find it in the wrong person? Um, if I was you, the best advice that I can give you is to take your problems to pen and paper or go seek counseling elsewhere or seek friend friendship outside of the club. But Confining in people in your workspace is not a good place to do that at. You never want to mix personal with business anyway. Mistake number six, spending money on worthless shit, okay? I see this going on every day, all the time, for years in the strip club. These girls are coming in there with Gucci sandals, okay? Valentino bags, okay? Javinci sweatsuits, okay? Um, $300 worth of bundles in their head and don't have a couch, don't lay on their rent, don't know how they're going to make rent next month. All that stuff don't matter, okay? Even if you're not a stripper, okay? Y'all need to stop spending y'all money on these labels and all this all this dumb stuff. And if that's something that you like and that's something that you're into, invest in your goals and stuff first because that's going to come. All the JaVinci, all the Louis Vuitton, all that stuff that you want is going to come when you invest in your goals. But when you're trying to trying to buy all the Gucci and pay your rent at the same time, that's not, that's not going to work. And invest into your goals at the same time, that's not all going to work. Put the labels to the side. If that's something that you're into, it can wait. It's going to come, okay? So stop spending your money on worthless crap. Pay your bills. Pay your bills ahead of time, okay? Um, invest into some businesses. Invest into something because like I say, and like I always say, nothing lasts forever, including this game. This game is already up and down. You can make $500 one day. You can make $300 the next day. You never know how much you're going to make. So if you have a great night, use it wisely. Don't think in your head because you had a great night, the whole weekend's going to be like that. It's not always like that. Okay, so take your money and do meaningful things with it. Make that much money to where everything is taken care of. You can invest in your business and buy the labels. Do that. But if you kind of in a place where you really shouldn't be doing that, be real with yourself and stop doing that. Invest into something and those things will come. Mistake number seven, not making the most of your free time. Dancers have a lot of free time because we can make our own schedule. We live a very free lifestyle and I don't think we really appreciate anybody that works independently, lives a very free lifestyle and I don't think we appreciate especially dancers. And I think that we kind of take advantage of our the extra time that we have. I try to wake up at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I've been up to 7.30 a.m. today, only because I didn't work last night. I've been up to 7.30 a.m. today trying to make the best of my day. I go to the gym. I meditate. I read. I take my son to school. I pick him up early to go get ice cream. Anything I can do to make the most of my day. I come here. I make videos for you guys. Right now, I'm in my studio space with my, for my online store. Make the most of your day, okay? There's a lot of people that would love to have the hours that we have and the freedom that we have. Make the most of your day because you're going to regret it later, okay? Don't strip your whole life away. All you're doing is stripping at night. And then a year from now, you're sitting here wondering why you didn't do more. Take advantage of the time that you have now, okay? So all this daytime, don't sleep all day. Get yourself up. Go to the gym. Go read a book. Go work on something, okay? And make your money at night. Okay, mistake number eight, picking at your body and picking at yourself, okay? This environment will cause you to have low self-esteem and high self-esteem okay i know that sounds so confusing but it's true you're going to have high self-esteem because you're going to feel pretty you're going to be getting money you're going to dress up but then you will have low self-esteem because there's going to be plenty of girls that come in here with these perfect boobs this perfect body these big old butts and you think they're the dream girl you think they have the dream body and all that stuff and you start looking at yourself and you start tearing yourself apart okay you start rushing into surgeries because you want to look like them you start getting cheap surgeries because you want to look like them don't do that. If you were happy with you before, 
stay who you are. If you was making money the way you were before, stay how you are. If these aren't things that you personally have an issue with and you wanna change them for this environment, stay as you are, okay? Don't change nothing about yourself for this environment. Now, if you're doing it for you, like me, I got my breasts done for me because after I had a baby, things changed. I got my boobs done for me. I've never had my butt done. I will never get my butt done and I work out as of now. But let me tell y'all something. If this working out don't go right, I will be getting some lipo, but like I said, it's all for me. I'm doing this for me, not for the club. On a serious note, do not nitpick yourself apart. You are beautiful, you are worthy, and this strip club shit does not fucking matter, okay? All right? Do not tear yourself apart over some strip club shit. It's not that serious, okay? Do it for you, and that's the only reason you should be doing it. And I'm talking about plastic surgery, that is. I do not agree with butt shots whatsoever, so I would never advise anybody to get butt shots. But a fat transfer or some lipo, if that's something you want to do for you, do your best research and make sure you're doing it for you. Mistake number nine, drowning in the money, okay? Don't suffocate yourself in this money. <laughs> and what I mean by drowning in the money is you get so wrapped up in the money, it starts to take away from your personality, starts to change you, starts to alter you, starts to alter your lifestyle. Just understand a good night is only a good night. A good month is only a good month. It's not forever okay so do the right things with your money do the right things with um the opportunities that you're approached with like the people that you meet and all that stuff do the right things with these things because the money you have to take care of in these relationships that you build through the strip club you have to take care of that's how they last forever but just because they come or just because they happen doesn't mean it's forever i could have a if drake happened to come in and throw ten thousand dollars yeah i have a ten thousand dollar night but tomorrow i'll probably be back to five hundred dollars you know what I'm saying? So none of this stuff lasts forever. Don't drown in the money and think that you're rich because you had a few good weeks. That's not how it works. It can go up and down at any moment. Take your money and do something with it and you could be rich forever. Mistake number nine, be true to yourself. Don't forget who you are. Don't forget to love yourself. Um, don't forget to, don't forget who you were before you came into the club. I remember me and a girl started working at a club together. Well, I started working at the club first and then I brought her along. And once she started working at a particular club, which was a big deal, it was a big club in Philadelphia, she started to change on me. Our relationship started to change. She started to hang with girls that were nastier, that were mean, that were kind of bullyish a little bit. And um, I didn't hang with them type of girls. And she did. And our friendship just went down the drain. Everything changed. So I felt like she wasn't being true to herself and she became somebody else. So just remember to be true to yourself and be who you are and don't forget who you were um, before you started dancing. Okay, last but not least, mistake number 10, don't forget to live a double life. This is one of those times in life when you have to live a double life. You have to be a certain person at night, you have to be a certain person in the day. Me, for instance, at night, I'm very seductive. Um, I carry myself the same way I kind of carry myself now. Um, I used to kind of like, <laughs> I'm being hypocritical right now because I used to kind of live a double life. I used to be like the seductive, sexy girl at night and then mommy mode and very serious in the day. I've been dancing for a while now, so my attitudes have kind of collided. But I'm telling you guys to live a double life. So you want to be um, more free spirited and um, sexier and have more patience at night. And then in the day, you want to get down. You want to get busy. You want to get up early. You want to be serious about you know, your life, your health, and your, your kids, and keep your home clean, and all those day-to-day -day things. At night, it's, a little, it's cool to get you a drink and be a little bit more free-spirited and have some fun, but in the daytime, you kind of want to be serious and get back to business and be a different person, so please live a double life. You do not want to be a stripper in the daytime and at the nighttime and all the time and everywhere you go. That's not how you want to live your life. You want to live a double life. You want to be a professional mother, a professional person, an entrepreneur person in the daytime, and then at nighttime, you want to be that seductive, sexy icon. So do not forget to live a double life. And that concludes my video for the day, Strippers Top 10 Mistakes. And I'm sorry if I lost count. I don't know. I was talking too fast. I lost count. Um, but it was 10 tips there, all for you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, JB, Nate B, I'm going to catch y'all. But wait, before I go, we hit 30,000 subscribers. Like, 30,000. 30,000. Like, last year, I was celebrating milestones like 100, 500, 1,000. Like, we are 30,000, like, yo, we deep. We are so deep, and we just gonna get deeper. We gonna get bigger. I love you guys. I want you guys to be you, and I'm gonna be me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.